welcome back guys and uh, we're moving along as you guys could see the the front part of the vehicle has been uh, connected with the the rear hull of the vehicle uh, the fit was was great you know typical to me as you guys could see on the bottom I did smooth out um, pretty much everything you know it's smooth to the touch it looks kind of rough right now once you put the primer on it should look a lot better um, <clears throat> Before I continue, before I forget, as you guys can see, I re-drilled the hole on, on that part of the grill. Uh, there's a, a gentleman by the name of Brent Schmidt. Uh, if I mispronounce your last name, I'm sorry. Uh, but he did point out that this hole was for the winch, okay? This part right here on the, on the chassis. And then there's a drive shaft or, or a shaft, a, a a piston you may say that connects from from this from the winch to the drivetrain and that's what that hole is it goes through there unfortunately in the kit it doesn't come with any part it, it doesn't give you anything as far as the instructions goes um, it doesn't tell you to do anything with this hole that's why I was like well you know does it matter so I did open it just for accuracy sake uh, you're still not going to see this thing, okay? Just to give you an idea, give me, bear with me here a second. Um, and it's funny, you know, how we research, um, you know, things on Google, for example. Um, we put the name of our subject that we're modeling or whatever, and nothing comes up. But if we play with the words, we go back and forth. Um, it's funny how that works so I put the word the word winch when he told me about it and right away I got a picture of the real thing and how it looks so this is how it's gonna look to be honest uh, the perfect fit is awesome that I could actually um, leave this unattached and just work on this and the upper hole uh, I might do that when it comes to the painting. Uh, the tracks, a um, few people, uh, Steve, he uh, recommended to use hot water and try to stretch them out. But unfortunately, there's no accurate way to do it. Um, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and just go for it. And if it ruins the drivetrain, well, no, no, the drivetrain, the alignment. At least I try, you know, but uh, it should look okay. I've seen other builds online and, and they don't, funny thing is they don't mention anything about the tracks. Uh, but it's looking, you know, let's look at the par and we're moving uh, slowly but surely here, uh, I think. Okay guys, moving along, let me uh, zoom in a little so you guys can get a better idea. As you guys can see, it's all primed up. Uh, construction has been done. Niche. Uh, you know, I took the wheels apart so that I could uh, weather them and paint them better. Uh, the stowage from the kit has been primed as well. Very nice stowage, if I may say. Also, the jerry cans on the kit. Let me see. Yeah, the jerry cans on the kit, as you guys can see, very nicely detailed. Uh, they turned out to be better than the ones from this set, from the Verlinden set. The only thing about the Verlinden set that I wish that he had uh, uh, for me would be a, a kind of like a map of where to put it. Um, as far as reference comes, you only have this picture to go off. So yeah, that, that's my only complaint. Other than that, uh, it's pretty decent. Um, and the cool thing about it is you can use it for other vehicles as well. Okay, as far as paints, we're going to be using Tamiya paints. This is uh, XF62 Olive Drive. Okay. Um, when it comes to olive drive vehicles, I don't worry about being accurate as far as the paint because especially if you're going to weather it, um, you know, you're, you're pretty much don't, don't got to worry about 
accuracy you know the paint fades and it's never never ever factory uh, paint on your vehicles um, you know even if you play with modulation then you know accuracy is not very important uh, another concern I have about the, the kit is the decals okay everybody knows that to me it makes excellent kits but when it comes to the decals especially in aircraft uh, they drop the ball I don't know why and I don't know how but uh, in this case I gotta place a decal on the open grill uh, they do give you instructions on how to uh, cut it so you can place it so that should be easy but the one that I'm really um, concerned about is this one okay they do give you a guide if you wanna uh, paint it uh, to, to, to you know to just paint it but I'm gonna use the decal uh, now getting it to sit in there on top of all these detail or I should say to look to make it look on the bottom of that detail that's gonna be a bitch so yeah wish me luck and let's see let's see what else I I pretty much that's it oh, oh on the bottom you know it's different when you paint I mean when you prime your vehicles you can see all the imperfections on the bottom but this is gonna be on the bottom I'm not too worried about it because this is pretty much be gonna be covered with with uh, fake mud and, and dusting and stuff and it's gonna go on top of the chassis the chassis is very very well detailed as you guys could see um, very very impressed with it um, I'm not too worried when it comes to armor I'm not too worried about the the bottom of the vehicles you know uh, just because you could cover up a lot of uh, in, imperfections with with your uh, with weathering and stuff uh, the tracks uh, they're pretty decent they're not the best uh, as far as uh, aftermarket this is it okay uh, I'm not gonna spend any money on tracks I'm just gonna use these they they fit it okay I left them on uh, for a couple of days and uh, yeah they look they look pretty decent figures okay I made a decision with figures figures I'm gonna only gonna use three of them I'm gonna use the the driver okay uh, I'm gonna use I believe there's another guy standing up on the turret and a passenger then everything else is gonna be uh, loaded up with stowage and stuff uh, so that's it guys for this update um, thank you again for watching and thank you for for all the support that I've been getting uh, after my grandma's passing uh, it really made my day but this is where we are with the with the build right now what I'm gonna be doing is pre-shading okay I wanna play with that a little bit I enjoy pre-shading I know a lot of people are saying that it's not realistic and stuff it's just preference uh, personal preference to me and a little bit of artistic uh, license to play with okay so that's it guys thank you guys for watching as always my name is Lewis and I'll catch you guys on my next update bye bye